what's going on guys welcome to another video so yesterday we did a uh, a video on how to add the attendance data without any duplicates for the same day uh, it's a more on a preventive method so for today's episode we are actually going to sort of run through for cases where duplicates already happen in your attendance data and how do we filter them out uh, there's a few ways of doing it for this episode i'm actually going to run through a very straightforward or perhaps uh, easy the easiest one that i can come up with uh, so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so um I have created a duplicated table because uh, I don't want to bother the first table. But the same structure as we have done in uh, part one. So the only difference that you can see right now is there is a duplicate for each of the employees for the same day by the date itself. So you can see uh there is multiple occurrences for let's say aris azahar here uh, there's three for the same day okay and same goes to the rest so this is something that we want to eliminate or we want to isolate uh say for example if you want to do a attendance report so in part one we have discussed on how to avoid having duplicates so part two is more on how do we isolate them and optionally you can uh, sort of trigger the bot to delete eventually but it's okay we'll just focus on the isolation part first okay so now back to the app itself so in attendance two table which is the one that we are doing for our demo today i have created uh, the first one which is the sequence all right sequence virtual column uh, which is taking back the row number so this is actually an optional step but personally i like to use this sort of uh, way instead of directly taking from the row number because somehow it works well for me but you can go ahead and try using the row number directly it's fine but what I want to bring your attention to is the duplicate checker that I have in column 8, virtual column here, which is using this um, expression. So of course, we want to sort of count the number of occurrences for our employees for that same day, okay? That's why we are referencing the ID of the employees from the uh, <clears throat> employee table. Okay. So if it's more than zero, then it's basically the way of how do we check the sequence. So the sequence must be uh, exactly one to be unique. And any number beyond that is considered as a duplicate okay so once i have this in place uh, back to the app if i were to use uh, the, the expression that i've shown earlier it will definitely flag the duplicates for each of the employees respectively say for example uh, myself here aris okay on the on the 17th of january i am present so that's why the first one is not a duplicate because it's uh, the first occurrence however uh i have another row few few more rows using the same data which is the same date uh, and for the same employee and since it's not the first occurrence it will flag it as the duplicate so this applies for the other employees as well. Uh, 
you can see even for Nora on the 17th of January, there's two duplicates and on the 18th, there's one. And this will behave the same for the rest of the employees. If say there is a duplicate for that same day. Okay. Now to isolate them completely, of course, we can create a sort of um, slice. And the slice that I'm creating here is basically for anything that's not a duplicate. Okay. So. Let's give this a try. Let's say I create a new view. And let's call it new attendance. So let's just use a custom column order. We don't want the attendance ID, we just want the status. Right. I guess employee ID is also optional for now. <clears throat> so as you can see the data is now unique okay for both dates on the 17 and 18 there is no more than one occurrence for each of the employees let me just make this much easier to see let's group it by date instead yeah <clears throat> so there there you go so there you have it you have the duplicates no longer existing in this table okay so on the 17 we have all the employees in the single uh, attendance uh, input same goes for the 18 and that's all to it so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, basically once you have identified duplicates uh, you have uh, optionally, you can sort of delete the duplicates using robots. Uh, so you can trigger the robots to uh, sort of delete those duplicates daily uh, to reduce the data size in your database. But more or less, uh, once you have come up with uh, basically a duplicate checker, it, will, it makes your data filtering much easier so that's why we did the sequence and of course the duplicate checker and once we have identified duplicates it's easier to do so so uh, if you like this video don't forget to drop a like uh, of course don't forget if you haven't subscribed please do so uh, so that you will see more contents like this and of course do let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below so until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.